Yo, what's up happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner. And this big dummy is my good friend, Jeff Aderman. Now a lot of you guys have mentioned to me, man, you should have your own TV show. Well, I did that once. This was our main producer, this is Jeff. We had a show called Real Adventures. Traveled all over the world fishing and doing all kinds of cool stuff. And that was like my introduction into TV video. And so, woke up this morning, looked outside. We had bluebird skies, just beautiful day. And I called Jeff, yo, you wanna go fishing? He said, what are we gonna go fishing for? I said, fish. And he said, yeah, so now I'm looking for bait. See that birch over there? That's gonna be bait. This is just fishing in Jupiter. Gotta get bait. Then you go out, you look at the wind, the current, what's going on. Today's opening day of snook season, so we might fish for them, but more importantly, we're just fishing. And you're riding shotgun. Ah! My chummy nets are gone. Oh, this is not good, y'all. Darn it. Okay, so, see this net? That net is made for bigger bait. Whip a Yui, let's go try to find big bait. If you come to Jupiter and you go fishing, this is one of the most affordable, good little spinning rods you're gonna buy. It's a favorite, old salty. It's got 20 pound braid on it. And then I'm using a, a green number six sabiki. Like if you go to fishing headquarters or one of the tackle shops, get a green number six. And then I'm using, uh, I think that's about a, uh, looks like a two ounce lead. I suggest a two ounce lead, unless you don't have it. And then use whatever you do have. Turn it, turn it hard right. Neutral. Now back up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's it, right there. Hey, not bad for the first throw. Not bad. Oh, it's better than a shark to stick me in eye. Got some. What's up? Okay, so we got a couple dozen bait. Got some cigar minnows, got some blue runners. Now we're heading offshore. We're gonna go do a whole variety of stuff. Jigging, popping, live baiting. Whatever's gonna happen, it's happening out there. So we just made it out to the spot, spot we call the edge. And uh, I decided I wanted to try a popper. It's got a vent in the top. There we go. And then you don't have to over pop it. It's made so that it's easy on your arm. Pop it, let it stop. I mean, fish love these things. A lot of people make the mistake of snatching them. And you see what happens? They come flying out of the water. It's just a very easy pull. Just like that. The Sugar Express. God only knows what's in that. See that tugboat, it's pulling that barge, that barge, who knows what it has in it. 
the name of it Sugar Express. So I'm guessing sugar. Down, down, down she goes. Where she goes, no one knows. There's the bottom. There he is. That's the one wrapped right there. I got something big. leads me to the next this wasn't quite the weapon I needed Whoa. this oh this one just got nailed <laughs> alrighty ladies and gentlemen seems we've got some larger friends that have showed up to the party oh yes oh yes I do have an idea ladies and gentlemen I do in fact have an idea the question is who thinks I can catch what just broke me off on this rod right here? Me. Using a bigger hook, and we're using a bigger bait. Come here, Mr. Firetail. There we go. Something about like that. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Looking right up through the... Gonna be just like that. And we're gonna feed him right back there. Just about like that. Now I wanna. That's gonna take my bait down to the bottom. Now, one problem is I do not have a uh, fighting belt. But I don't need no fighting belt. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I just picked up my my rod for I was marking some fish down on the bottom and uh Oh man, yeah. I don't know what I got on here, but it seems like it's a decent sized fish. Goodness gracious. What do we have, y'all? What on earth do we have? Here's the funny thing. I don't think it's a grouper or a shark. On the cable rig. The biggest horse eye jack I've ever seen in my life. That's a Look at that. Whoa. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what you call a dinosaur. that horse eye jack is. Golly. Holy crap, you got smoked. Yeah, now you got him. There you go, son. <laughs> yeah. Big, big, big fish, I reckon. You got a nice heavy leader. Goliath. No, that's not a Goliath. No, wait, that's not a Goliath grouper. I promise you, that's not a Goliath. Well, Jeffrey Aderman is on it. <laughs> yes, Jeff, that is what we're after, boy. Got him on 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. 
No idea what it is. Could be anything. Ate a big old fire tail. I guess I should probably get a gaff just in case. Just in case. Shout out to Adam Johnson. He's got this thing strapped up here like nobody's business. Love you, Adam. I always tell people when you're fighting a nice fish, think ahead. Clear your area so that you're not sticking a knife in your foot. You're not doing something stupid. Be ready. Yeah, because he may make a run and I have to dump it. Okay, now come back over here with your rod tip. I don't know if it's an amberjack or a jack crevel. Let this line fall right in the water. Oh, it's a cabare snapper. No. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's a jack crevel, but that's cool because I can now show you a difference. Hold on, come here, Bubba. Oh. Look at that. Nice fish, bro. Wow. Nice, nice fish. Now, we're not gonna keep this one. This is a horse eye jack. This is a Jack Crevel. Huge eye. Big eye, small eye, no black dot, black dot. And the Jack Crevel has a noticeable yellow fin. Horse eye does not. Now, let's just let him go here. That right there. So Jacks, like big horse eye or big Jack Crevel, is our trevally. So in the Pacific where we've been, everyone loves catching trevally. Here, we catch a lot of big jacks. I've never eaten a horse eye, but I hear they're phenomenal. We're gonna find out tonight. All righty, y'all, we're back here at the house. That fish is incredibly dense, like very heavy for its size. It's got a big rib there. Take that knife. While we were on this trip, I actually, I saw a bunch of people that had different fillet knives and I tried them out. I can tell you this firsthand, no knife, no fillet knife that I've ever used cuts like a silver stag. Bring it right up there. The meat looks beautiful. Right to there. Take that center line. You can see the center line. It runs right there. You just and cut it right down. That'll come right out. And then this should. I mean, it just cuts like butter. A little bit of red. Again, I've never done this with a horse eye jack. Beautiful. So, if I were just to show you that piece of fish right there, I'd think it was my mine. I just love going new places, learning new things. Well, obviously, we just got back from the CNMI, the Northern Mariana Islands. There's no way they would have caught this fish and then turned it loose. So I thought, mm, I want to try it out. Well, that's two of the lower loins. Right here, we have onion, ginger, garlic, and sweet cream butter. Let's just throw that right in there and let that start boiling down. Then we're gonna throw the onions, the ginger, and the garlic. A lot of herb. Take a little Everglades original, season up our fish, nothing too special. Then we'll just take the fish and throw it in there. Just sort of let this start to fall in love. That's gonna be soup. This is gonna be mm, horse-eyed Jack Almondine. Cut off your end, and then we're gonna have nice little steaks that look about that big. Not too thick. I'd say about three quarters of an inch thick. Oh 
I'm gonna do is just salt this. A little bit of salt, make it happy. Take our salted fish, put it in flour, and just let it get all dredged up and nice. I know a lot of y'all are gonna laugh, but that's a whole stick of sweet cream butter. And this is called lemongrass. It's like a marinade or a paste. I don't know what you'd call it. I'm gonna put some lemongrass in there. If you don't cook with lemongrass, you probably should. Like, seafood and chicken is amazing with lemongrass. Got that going right there. That's some slivered almonds. And we're gonna start toasting them. Don't wanna to go too high heat, maybe medium heat. This is going good right here. We're just gonna fill this up with water, let it boil down. Just trying to toast them. See how they're not burnt, they're just toasted. Nice brown, brings out the sweetness in them. And then what I'll do is, take a slotted spoon, put them right in there. Okay, take some of our fish, throw it right in there. It's not quite as hot as I want it to be, but it should be all right. This is kind of coming to me like an epiphany. We've got these little shells, soup, I'm just gonna go make yourselves right at home. I think this is gonna turn out really nice. Then whenever you're getting some of the soup, you're gonna have some pasta, you have some fish, all the herbs. Ooh, ooh good, y'all. Now all we're doing is just flipping that over. Something very gratifying for me is going out in that ocean, catching a fish, coming home, and cooking it for my family. And Sarah, she's not a drinker really at all, but she loves this stuff that's called Moscato. It's like a really nice, sweet wine. We're gonna add some of this right here. And we're gonna let that just come on down. Oh, this is gonna be good, y'all. There's all of our almonds. I'm gonna throw them right back in here. There's all of our almonds. There. And now for some of our soup. Mmm. The broth smells so good. Look how nice that fish comes out with the almonds. Oh, see? Mama made us smashed sweet potatoes. Hey, are y'all crazy or what? Okay, hey. Girl, sit down, come on. Hey, wait a second. Hey, no, go put your toys over there. Now, Emma, go put your toy away. It's dinner time. Hurry up, Arya. Good girls. Have you tried this? Mm -hmm. Have you tried it yet? No. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day, and thank you for this wonderful food, and thank you for this fish that you provided. Lord, please nourish it to our bodies and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. You are stinking. All right, so this is the first time I've ever cooked. It's the first time I've ever cooked a horse hijack in my life, and I think it's the first time I've ever cooked any type of almondine on my channel. 
woman did. I use this for a spoon. Oh. It's very good. Mm. It, it's almost like, it's very similar to tuna. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. What sauce is that? I made a Moscato sauce. Uh -uh. I use Moscato to make that, yeah. It's really good. Mm. That sauce is really good. Mm. I really like that. A, it was fresh. B, it was iced down properly. C, we cleaned it, trimmed out all the bloodline, and, and just enjoyed it as a family. And that's what it's all about. I want to tell you thank you. Can you say what? <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Thanks for being a part of it. I love you guys. We're happy to be home. But for now, take care. God bless. And we are... <laughs>